Hi everyone, this is Brandon Collins, author of the Evernote Bible, and uh, this is a screencast to show you how to set up your Evernote screen based on the recommendations that I make in the book. If you need a copy of the book, just go ahead and search on Amazon for the Evernote Bible, and you should be able to find it there uh, on Amazon. So here's the basic uh, layout that comes with Evernote kind of out of the box, and there's just a couple tweaks that I'm going to recommend that you make. First, let's start up here on this toolbar area. There's a bunch of buttons up here that I don't use and a couple that I actually use that are not here. So go ahead and right click on the empty area there and um, just click customize toolbar and what I usually do this this premium button I almost never use so you can go ahead and drag that right off of there the activity button uh, I actually move over here towards usage that's just uh, up where it makes sense there uh, for me and uh, the trunk button I, I never use that so I pull that off the one button that I add is the delete button and so I usually put it somewhere like right over here so this is kinda my setup toolbar the way that I like it again you can see some other options here that you can drag or remove things uh, you can add some separate if that's how you want to do it but this is the toolbar that I like to see on my Evernote the next bar down here is the shortcuts toolbar and you can see it's got obviously a bunch of shortcuts uh, well the very first thing I want you to do is come over here to the left panel this is the left panel and grab this saved searches um, uh, icon here you can kinda of click on the icon and drag it up and usually I put it right here next to tags and what that does is create a new drop down window to search for or to use all your saved searches uh, you already have one of those in the saved or excuse me you already have one of those in the notebook section and the tags uh, but you can go ahead and add the saved searches as well and that's important because in just a second we're gonna go ahead and hide this whole left panel here um, now let me explain that to you for a second this left panel shows you all of your notebooks it shows your tags it shows your saved searches uh, and what you do here is if you click on a tag you see the list of notes that have to do with that tag which is all well and good except that's not a really great way to search your notes uh, in fact if you look under my storage tag you can see I have a bunch of notes here um, that potentially I would have to scroll through to find the ones I'm looking for uh, the better way to do it is to use these drop down buttons up here so if you click on tags for example and I'm looking for the Logos tag I can go ahead and start typing Logos and you notice that it go ahead, it, it actually narrows down my search and then I can click on Logos to find just those tags so that's actually a much better way to access all of this content in the left sidebar the only thing you're actually gonna lose is this shared button here um, and and if you need to do that you can go ahead and turn it back on uh, but we'll, we'll come to this left side panel here in just a second so you will go ahead and drag your saved searches up here to create a new uh, item and uh, also keep in mind this is your shortcut bar so you can go ahead and if you have a tag like a quick uh, quick use tag like this is mine right here this three stars three asterisks so I'm gonna go ahead and drag that up there and I usually put it like um, somewhere right there and you can go ahead and add a separator um, to just kinda distinguish some things uh, the way that you want to and there's also a um, an event coming up that I have called the Super Bowl so I'm gonna go ahead and drag this notebook up here to create a notebook I also have a uh, tag for the Super Bowl that I'm gonna drag up there okay so you can kinda of fill that up with stuff that you know that you think is important that you're gonna to wanna to access a lot but this is basically kinda of what my my shortcuts bar looks like now the other big thing I want you to change is right over here um, this left side panel we're gonna go ahead and hide that because again we've got access to all of our notebooks and our tags and our saved searches through these drop down uh, buttons so come up to view and go ahead and uncheck the show left panel button or obviously you can see you could just press the F10 key and what that does look at how much extra space that gives me in the note editing window uh, this is where you're gonna spend most of your time probably 80 to 90 percent of your time in Evernote so it's definitely better to have more space in this note view than it is to have that left view panel or that left side panel and again I can come back up here and recheck that and it'll reappear uh, very quickly or I can just use the F10 key so Keep in mind, if you ever need to get to that stuff, you can just use the view panel again. Uh, there's a couple more things. Go ahead and make sure that you have uh, this um, this arrow. It kind of was already checked on mine. There's this little down arrow next to the search field, and what that does is shows you your uh, 
the details of the shirt, the search that you're viewing, and that's going to come in handy. I don't want to give you too many details about that, but you'll see how that uh, works kind of through the throughout the book. Uh, the other thing I want you to do is make sure that you are viewing your notes in the snippet view. Uh, let me go ahead and scroll through those for you real quick. The list view, um, this is good for seeing, uh, kind of sorting your notes by different. Uh, different attributes. You can sort them by clicking on the different uh, attributes here in the top row. But as you can see, um, you don't end up seeing a lot of content from the note. It's hard to know exactly what content is in the note except by seeing the title. Uh, and also, this view is, t is horizontal. It stacks horizontally on top of the note view, which means our note view is very wide and very short. And uh, to me, that's just not as useful as having it over here on the left. Uh, stacked vertically. Um, the other view options, uh, you've got a thumbnail view. Now that one is stacked vertically, but uh, these are just these previews are so small. Uh, I just don't feel like it's that useful. You don't really know exactly what it is there in the notes. Now, if you're maybe into photography or you're using this for image storage, this might be useful because you'll see a little preview of some of the images in the note there. But again, this is just too small for me, uh, really, to, to see that to, to feel like it's that useful. Uh, so the one that I usually use is the snippet view. That's the one I started on, and this really gives you kind of the best overall view. You've got a little image preview. Um, sometimes you've got an icon representing what's in the image. It also shows you the tags. Uh, this is a tag uh, on this note. The date that it was created, and then some content from the note. So this is probably the most usable of all of the views, in my opinion, and that's what I recommend you leave this on. Now, this section over here, the note view, we're going to just uh, make one small tweak to that. Um, what you're going to do is come up to view, and uh, you're going to uncheck the, um, let me just find it here, show uh, note info right here, or you can use the F8 button, but uncheck that, and notice that you've got, again, a lot more v a lot more room here, but you lost a lot of details for the notes. So the, actually the view that I use, I'm going to go ahead and hit it one more time. Now notice what I've got. I can see the URL and the tags, but not a lot of that extra stuff. And this is the one that I use. It's it's uh, because I usually use tags uh, very often in Evernote. You probably will end up doing that as well. But it gets rid of some of this extra information like the create date, the updated time, the note history, the link, lo you know, the location, which most of the time I'm not going to be using that stuff. So again, you want to toggle it completely off and then toggle it one more time and that'll get you the correct, uh, the recommended view that I think is really just the optimal view there. So that's how I recommend you set up your Evernote uh, window. And again, if you, if you have some other ideas, go ahead and do that. It's really worth taking a few minutes to get this set up the way you want it because you spend so much time in this view, uh, you're going to just end up saving that time in the long run. So again, this is uh, Brandon Collins with the Evernote Bible. And again, go ahead and find that on Amazon. I hope you've enjoyed the video and I hope you enjoy the book.